hey good morning guys um reaching you here from our atlanta warehouse now there's one question that a lot of you have been asking me and i think it's about time i, I answer that question you know um, a lot of our customers like you know are from nigeria so uh, the currency is obviously the naira and a lot of people keep asking can i start an export business with a hundred thousand naira now let's put this in perspective so that we understand what we're talking about hundred thousand naira as of now um is probably equal to let me do a little conversion here so hundred thousand divided by one six zero zero that's about sixty two dollars right so let's just round it up to sixty dollars so a lot of you keep asking me can i start an export business with sixty dollars um i'm gonna be blunt probably not it's, it's gonna be extremely difficult now it doesn't mean that you can't start with sixty dollars again it depends on the model that you choose right and i'm gonna try and explain a little bit better how you can actually start with something that low um but it's going to be very difficult right now when you say can I start an export business with $100? The question I'll probably have to ask you is, that $100, is it just the cost of the product or the product and or the cost of the product and every other expense that has to go with export, right? Now, let's take a look at export as a whole, right? Now, the first thing you need to understand is, what export model are you using now when i talk about export model and i'm going to do a, a little bit more in-depth teaching on this you know i'm talking about export model when you say export model are you looking at what i'll probably call single product single purchase um, uh, a single dispatch you know so what i mean by that is is it a situation whereby you have a customer abroad who says i need this product send it to me so for example you could have a customer that needs a particular cosmetic and then you could be the manufacturer or somebody who just goes buys that cosmetics and just ships it to the customer so that's what i mean by it. now if you are doing that then yes you could probably start with that low and that is probably the easiest way the, you know for most people to start because if you take a look at it the cosmetic could cost maybe twenty dollars and cost you maybe thirty dollars to ship it if the customer is willing to pay say 60 or 70 dollars you've made 20 dollars profit on one product right so if you are able to build up that business right where you have so many people uh, ordering products from you either because you are you're good with social media or you're good with marketing that is probably a way that you can start an expert business uh with just about 62 dollars but again i'll tell you it's going to be very difficult now the other models that are probably going to be more expensive and that's the model that we go with uh is probably what i call um multi-purchase will i say bulk dispatch so what do i mean uh you have maybe a hundred products you ship it out there to uh, probably our warehouse here and then as customers buy from you everywhere uh we just send to them this is actually more profitable because instead of you spending 30 40 dollars to ship item every time it's ordered from anywhere uh, you know you may be to where the customer is you save a lot you know we've done the calculation and you can save over 80 percent as much as 80 percent on the shipping cost you can imagine that right so where you were spending a hundred dollars to ship using the single product single purchase model now you're going to be able to use just twenty dollars because you have shipped it in bulk usually via OSHA uh, and then uh, we begin to dispatch from you now when you talk about uh, export again you know so again i want to break down some of the expenses especially if you are somebody who is new to export so one of the things you are typically going to see is training when i start anybody starting export so, you know because if you say hey can i start an export business with hundred dollars that means you are new you're going to need some training now there are a lot of free materials out there but one thing i can tell you anything that is free be very cautious of it you know you have a lot of people putting out information out there and most of them are typically not true right when i mean not well it, most of them will not work that's what i'm saying right so again be careful i will always advise you to look for 
uh, real quality training from people who are practical in, uh, practicing the field. You know, take a look at me here. This is actually our warehouse here in Atlanta. So I'm not a theoretical person. I'm a practical person. I teach what we practice, right? So that's the difference. And again, uh, make sure you have some form of money for training. Now, another thing you're going to consider when you're starting your export business is product preparation. So what do I mean by product preparation? You definitely need to ensure you have the right branding, the right packaging. So what works probably in Ghana or Kenya or Nigeria may not work abroad, right? So it means that you're going to have to have um, uh, modify your branding to suit the market that you're going to be going into. Right now, I talk more about this in other in their courses. Now, apart from product preparation, you, you may also have licensing and certification. Again, depending on the product that you're trying to go into. If you're going into food or cosmetics, you're going to definitely uh, have to deal with, you know, US FDA regulation, food facility reg registration, cosmetic facility registration. And those alone will cost you anywhere from 199 or more, depending on who you are using right you're also going to have things like shipping uh, cost again it depends on the model are you just uh, getting a single customer and you're shipping to that single customer right or are you going to invest to ship in bulk to a warehouse like ours and then we dispatch for you so again uh, it depends on the model right now marketing a lot of people ignore marketing yes you can do a lot of marketing via social media but again you need to also consider marketing right when you have your products abroad how do people get to know you you know free reach is good it is good for you to use social media and uh, free free media but it can never scale your business the way you want it right so you may need to consider oh how much am i going to put into marketing now other expenses say again depending on where you want to sell if you want to sell on say amazon you're going to need to have uh, fees now amazon has uh, two types of account you have the personal whereby you don't pay anything and then the you have the professional i always recommend going for the professional but for most starters you can start with the free and then upgrade to the personal you know there are videos i have lots of videos on youtube where i talk about that uh, just follow me on youtube uh, at Unduka Ude. um and then what other charges may you see uh, you may see warehousing right if you decide to use the cheaper and the more efficient model whereby you, you send your products in bulk there may be warehousing fees there may be dispatch fees right so again it depends on the model that you are using right so again in summary can you start an export business with a hundred thousand naira which is about 62 dollars now probably not but it depends on the model if you just want to find a buyer a buyer says hey buy this product and ship to me then probably yes but again you can't do much with that because again remember i just listed all the various expenses um so the two things you need to consider is one what what product are you exporting there are some products that just one of it is over 62 dollars right so how can you do that and then the second one is you need to determine the export model you want to do now i talk more about all these things the the export process in in in, in trainings that i have uh, the link is down below this video just click it you can sign up it's an amazing it has what probably 10 hours or more of uh, training on various topics to help you start your export business. Now, you know, a lot of times when I, I see people send me, send me that message, can I start an export business with, uh, you know, $60? I always ask myself, you know, hmm, could I build a, a Dangote refinery for $5,000, right? Yes, everybody wants to have a massive business, but a lot of times we need to be realistic. Uh, again, so again, in summary, starting with $60 an export business is very, very unlikely. But again, it depends on the model that you want to start with. So again, I hope I've been able to answer that question. Like I said, again, click the link below this video and you'll be able to sign up for uh, trainings that teach you more on export. Thank you.